An overnight explosion rocked a west side neighborhood by leveling a home. The explosion happened on South Vine Street, just south of Rockville Road, at the home of a woman who was out of town at the time. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Jefferson has more on what people heard and what investigators say may have caused that blast. Daylight gives a much clearer picture of the damage from the overnight explosion. Firefighters feared the worst when they got here and turned to neighbors for answers. It's real scary. I'm still shaking right now. Bill Williams got the scare of his life when the house next door suddenly blew up in the middle of the night. It happened as he slept on the couch. When I woke up, I heard a, a big boom and it shook my house and everything. And I thought it was a... I thought it was a transformer that blew up out back. But after investigating further, Bill realized the house next to his was leveled and on fire. Several people in the area reported that they were able to smell gas. Uh, so we do know we have a gas leak. Uh, we don't know how long that's been going on. When daylight hit, firefighters, gas company workers and neighbors saw much better just how powerful of an explosion this was. The blast scattered debris along Bill's roof. Flames scoured the side of his SUV, and the intense heat from the fire melted the siding on his house. Oh, my heavens, look at their house. Oh. The explosion also woke up neighbor Barbara Cox across the street. I just heard a big noise. I thought a train had wrecked, and then I went to the bathroom and came through the house, and then I seen pink. Gas company technicians spent the morning investigating and repairing the underground gas lines around the house as firefighters checked on people living nearby, including trying to confirm the house was not occupied. Now they came and knocked on my door about 15 to 5 and came in and checked my gas and said I was okay. Now firefighters will work closely with the gas company to narrow down what caused the explosion that brought this rental house to the ground. Steve Jefferson, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.